so this is the uh, question i have received since that day everybody saw that you were using a lot of palm tops for citation judgments how to maintain that diary whether you would like that it should be year wise subject wise references wise how do you put it across you have to put it in the form of uh, different uh, say article 14 in article 14 there are different headings it could be article 14 unreasonableness list out the cases article 14 arbitrariness list out the cases keep it in one place it may need not be you know palm top is out of vogue since the last 2005 you know they have stopped manufacturing it you have to keep a maintain a diary or keep it in your uh, mobile phone itself there are notes there are ever note there are you know several apps where you can uh, store them it becomes easy you know from there it's like leap frogging from there you need not you know reinvent the wheel as they say you need not reinvent the wheel every time if you keep all this article no i was giving you the example article 14 arbitrariness article 14 uh, 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 unreasonableness article 14 equals being treated equally unequals being treated unequally if equals are treated unequally it is uh, arbitrariness or it is violative article 14 if unequals are treated equally again and it's arbitrariness so different things you know you keep setting out and uh, maintaining the diary there is no hard and fast rule but why i am using the palm top or why you know i would want you to use the apps search becomes easy and when a judge asks a question you must be able to you know immediately give him the citation he'll go gaga over you that is how you know you develop your skills that is how you start endearing yourself to the judge that is how the judge will always be more attentive to you in fact let me give you an illustration years back there was one judge a very stentorian this was hardly you know i was hardly about 7 uh, years in the bar 7 or 8 years i had some three juniors and they were telling me that this judge never smiles and uh, i said doesn't matter and ultimately you know from a district judge he became the high court judge also i said all right one day i'll come i will argue a matter so i went there i was prepared well and for the first time they said we see, we see him smiling why because every question that he asked i had an answer and i presented it so well that he appreciated it he was one of those persons who wanted the lawyer to be fully prepared any laxity he would then you know, frown upon you so that is what every lawyer must do be prepared read well uh, know the law completely read the facts you are better off and the judge will uh, you know appreciate you very very much